Hello everyone, I am Danya, final year PhD student at Reply T Bangalore. My area of research is in automatic speech recognition under networking, communication and signal processing domain. At Reply T, we have primarily seven research domains, computer science, data science, IT and society, mathematics and physics, networking, communication and signal processing, software engineering, VLSI and embedded systems. Along with me, my fellow colleagues, pursuing PhD and MS by research in these domains have gathered here. Let me introduce them. Anand, who is doing MS by research in data science. Nagalakshmi, PhD in software engineering. Bindu, PhD in VLSI. Antara, PhD in data science. And Sumuka, who is doing MS by research in NCSP. All of us are part of funded projects such as MINRO, CIET, which are funded projects by the government of Karnataka or other projects such as Comet, DST and so on to name a few. All of us are full-time scholars and we receive monthly stipends. Today we would like to clarify few doubts which arise in the minds of the students trying to get PhD admissions or MS by research in IIIT Bangalore. First, Anand will outline the admission process. So related to the uh, admission process, uh, you will find uh, each and every details uh, at IIIT websites where you will find professors, research areas and uh, research you want to work on. So based on that, you can uh, fill your application pro applications. Coming to the admission process, uh, so if you are taking an admission for MS by research, PhD, so you have to uh, provide your SOP, that is a statement of purpose. Uh, secondly, uh, you have to provide a uh, research statement, third your resume. Uh, based, uh, based on uh, shortlisted candidate, you will be called for the written test followed by an interview. Uh, once selected, you will be called here and uh, all the course related details and all will be provided by my colleague uh, uh, Antra. Every semester a lot of courses are offered across multiple domains here. Now the students are free to take up any courses according to their research domain and their research interest. Students should complete 16 cred credits of coursework in their first year. Apart from this, students can take up any course as audit in the first year and also in the latter part of their research. Now here the good part is uh, courses are not only about the theory or only about the exams. They are accompanied by the projects which will enhance their learning as well. So now I'll request another my colleague Sumukha to brief about the MS by research research curriculum. So MS by research is basically a two to three year degree program in which the first year is in, in which the first year you will take all the required courses and complete the coursework. After that you will do your research work, publish papers. Once the supervisor is satisfied with your work, he will suggest you to write the thesis which will go for review and after the review is done you can do your thesis defense and the degree is awarded to you. Now I request Bindu to talk about the PhD coursework. The research curriculum for the PhD PhD scholar is slightly different from the uh, MS by research scholar. So uh, on completion of the required uh, co course credits, uh, the PhD scholar has to take up uh, the comprehensive exam. This happens in two parts. Uh, the first is the written exam followed by the oral exam. Uh, this is to test the PhD student for his or her course knowledge as well as uh, the knowledge in the chosen area. The second milestone is uh, uh, the state of art seminar uh, which is to be taken uh, within the next six months uh, after taking the comprehensive exam. And uh, the third milestone is the open seminar. So on completion of the intense research as well as satisfying the research credits. PhD scholar has to give uh, an open seminar for uh, the internal audience. So on approval, uh, he or she can continue writing the thesis. So this thesis on completion will be reviewed by internal as well as the external uh, reviewers. So on acceptance, uh, the one can uh, uh, defend the thesis. I request Nagalakshmi to talk about the research facilities available in IIITB for all the research scholars. Apply TB research labs are always open for 24 hours on all 365 days. We have a freedom to work. Each researcher will get a dedicated workspace and our labs are so spacious. We have an access to premium software tools along with hardware supportive systems to conduct our experiments smoothly. Our college is Wi-Fi enabled. 
we also have a very good library which provides lot of e resource accesses through which we can download a reputed conference and journal issues and our professors are always approachable they are always available at the campus we can approach them at any time and interdisciplinary research is encouraged at triple i pre b and regular meetings with our professors always help us to move in a right path now uh, my friend anand will tell more on campus life at triple i tb campus life at triple i tb is uh, awesome and great uh, uh, as you can see in this video also you see greenery all around so we have a eco friendly and a green campus i'll start with uh, the sports activities uh, conducted at triple i tb we have uh, various grounds football grounds and uh, various courts like a uh, badminton courts tennis courts uh, we also have table tennis uh, volleyball or all the games which you uh, will be looking for we have inter college intra college level competitions where uh, our students go outside uh, college participates and bring medals uh, similarly we also have gym facilities we have a, a good food here uh, we have a veg non veg uh, facilities we have uh, food for gym communities and also uh, uh, we have sick foods uh, in case you are sick also we have uh, medical facilities a doctor is available uh, all day all seven days and then you don't you don't need to worry if you are sick uh, we have various clubs and committees uh, uh, like uh, for various purposes uh, so we also have technicals and non technical clubs technicals uh, Uh, for an example we have coding clubs where you get to practice coding for your interview for your placements non technical like uh, music music uh, club uh, dance club uh, singing uh, various other things to name few there are various others uh, as in and uh, as in when you come you explore uh, you get to see a lot of uh, uh, diversity in triple itb so next i'll hand over to bindu who will talk more about the research event happening uh, in triple itb throughout the year apart from one focusing on their self research we also have a lot of formal as well as informal events happening here for example samvad is one such flat platform where all the uh, professors as well as the research scholars from various domains come together present their work discuss on their research work. and also there are some other informal events like um, a chit chat session with professor uh, where the professor shares his or her experience during their phd time which also motivates the current research scholars and also research in three slides is one another uh, 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 research um, event where uh, a research scholar presents his entire research in three just three slides which is a very challenging job uh, coming to the another important uh, research focused event which is rise that is research innovation society and entrepreneurship this is a research focused event organized solely and run by uh, research scholars themselves uh, this happens in two events first being uh, the open house where the triple itb will be open for all the external audience we present all the research works that are happening in uh, triple itb uh, the second is the research colloquium where the research works are presented among uh, the internal audience so all these events help a researcher to shape their research works here now i request dhanya to talk about the conferences and the fundings in triple itb at triple itb we actually do cutting edge research and we have lots of publications coming out of it so actually our college actively encourages the students to publish and attend international conferences by supporting us with a generous amount of fund the traveling grant which actually consists of or which a good amount which helps us to do conference registration accommodation international travel so this is actually very valuable in the research life because it helps us or it gives us more of uh, the networking opportunities where we can meet eminent personalities from other academics uh, field or from industry so most of our researchers during their 5 years of life in a phd or 3 years during ms by research travel for to attend conferences apart from this we also host conferences at triple itb like to name a few the ingars the cots comat the icmi which were few conferences that we had hosted in the previous years so where we phd scholars and ms by researchers are volunteers we get to attend many keynote speaks uh, spe uh, speeches by eminent persons. personalities so this is also a very good venue to uh, improve our networking skills so apart from hosting conferences we also conduct uh, summer schools such as the 3d vision summer school which is actually open not only for uh, the academic people but also research pe people from industry who has research interest 
So apart from doing research, we also have venues to bring this research into the real world scenarios. So Mukha will discuss about this. IIITB has a very good innovation and incubation center present in the campus only. So IIITB you know, incubation center has incubated many startups in all the research field mentioned in the website. Basically, if the research scholars have access to all these incubation and innovation center, if you feel that your research can be like due to a patent or it can be converted into a startup, IIITB incubation center will help you with all the necessary facilities to make to incubate a startup and file a patent. Many MS research scholars have joined uh, PhD positions abroad in India in, in top tier universities. After PhD, many people have joined postdoc positions abroad in uh, top tier universities. Regarding the placements for research scholars, I would like my colleague Antara to discuss about it. Once a student is at the finishing stage of their research, they can approach the placement cell here and they can go through the regular placement cycle to have a full-time opportunity. Apart from this, from time to time, placement cells receive the requirement from the industry for a particular research profile. So the placement cell forwards it to the students. After that, the students can take it forward. Apart from this, the students are encouraged to do the internship both in India and abroad. Also to mention, in the past, our MTech students and the MSY research scholars were offered similar compensation packages during the placements. I hope we have clarified all your doubts. I welcome you to the IIITB campus. Thank you for joining.